friends. What's up? I'm working on this awesome picture that I think will be my best portrait ever. I'm trying to get better because there's a cool festival that I want to submit this at. A comment already? This comment comes from Jade. Hey, Callie. I need your help. My help? I'll try, Jade. I really have an issue with telling the truth. That means Jade sometimes tells a lie and she shouldn't. Please help. Wow, Jade, I kind of feel you on that one. I sometimes don't tell the truth on my own self. I don't know why. Can any of you help? Do any of you have problems with telling the truth sometimes? I spoke to my uncle, my uncle Chuck earlier and he said that's a type of weakness. We all have weaknesses. He told me this Bible story. Let me tell you. It's time for our Bible story. Last week we left off with Moses, the baby that was saved living with Pharaoh's daughter. He was living a great life being raised by the daughter of Pharaoh, but he had no idea where he came from. So one day he made a huge mistake and got into a fight with some guys. He ran away from Egypt because he thought he would get into trouble and started a brand new life with a new job. One day while he was working, he saw something rather strange in the distance. He saw a bush on fire, but the bush wasn't burning up. Moses came closer to the bush because, you know, he had to make sense of it. Then the bush started to talk to him. It was God in the bush wow. talking to Moses. Moses took off his sandals to show respect to God. God had a very important job for Moses. God wanted Moses to return to Egypt and help his people, the Israelites, get out. Moses felt that God should pick someone better for the job. God, of course, knew better. Yes, Moses felt weak and not prepared to go back to Egypt, but God was going to help him. God said Moses could take his brother, Aaron, to help him speak. God was going to use the staff and other things to show everyone that Moses worked for God. Now Moses was ready to go to Egypt to rescue the people of Israel from Pharaoh. Isn't that amazing? God called and helped Moses. I wonder what other weaknesses I have. Golly, can I borrow your paintbrush? Um, no, it's mine. That's my little brother friend's. I said no. Wait. I do think I could be a little selfish with my toys and things. But I mean, it is mine. But there it is. A chance for me to notice my weakness and ask God for help. Jesus, I can use your help. It's not easy for me to share, but I care about my brother and I want to be kind to him. Help me to learn how to be generous. Amen. God helps us in our weakness. Hey, you can borrow my paintbrush. I'll bring it to your room when I'm finished with my friends. Really? Yes, really. All right, I gotta run. <laughs>